Hi everyone, welcome to Comer Tutors. This is a little bit of our special holiday edition. Um, so we thought what better way than to kick off the holiday season than with some crafts. As you guys know, it's getting pretty cold outside and it being Chicago, we will have snow pretty soon. So for today's craft, we want to create some snowflakes. Um, some snowflakes made out of popsicle sticks and glitter and sequins and all that um, fun jazz. So if you're interested, uh, stay tuned in this video and let's get started. So there's a couple items we need. The first are popsicle sticks. These can be popsicle sticks of any color or plain, um, anything you want to find. The second is glue, so we need to glue the snowflakes together. And lastly, we need some kind of fun sequins or sparkles to throw on the snowflake. Um, optional is a bit of twine or rope if you want to hang your snowflake as an ornament. And then we also have newspaper to protect all of our mess we're going to make. So the first step is to gather four popsicle sticks. And I'm going to show you here how you're going to lay the popsicle sticks on top of each other to create the snowflake. As you can see, we first made a cross, and then we put the popsicle sticks diagonal to each other. And that is how your snowflake will turn out eventually. So in order to make sure that this snowflake stays put, we're gonna use some Elmer school glue, or any type of glue you may have. And we are going to glue the popsicle sticks together. So you just put a dab of glue in the middle of your bottom popsicle stick. You take another one and you put it right on top so that the middle of both popsicle sticks are on top of each other. Just like that. And don't worry if there's a little bit of glue that is on the outside. Um, when the glue hardens, it will dry clear, so you won't be able to see it at all. Our main goal is to just make sure that the popsicle sticks will stay together so our snowflake won't fall apart. In order to do that, make sure that you press down right in the middle of the snowflake. Then wait for two minutes for the glue to harden. After that, now we're set to decorate the snowflake. Again, we're going to take our trusty friend glue and we can decorate it in any way we like. So for this snowflake, we are going to do a bit of, um, add some sequins. So first we lay the glue on, and then we take our sequins and put it right on top. Now I just glued three little dots onto the snowflake but you are welcome to glue as many dots as you want, as many sequins as you want on your snowflake. This is your creative project, and I'm sure your snowflake will turn out beautiful. Alright, so that's one snowflake done, the blue one in the middle. But now I want to show you guys some other possible designs we can make and some other materials we can use. So for this snowflake, which is red and green, and so it is Christmas themed, we can experiment maybe with a little bit of glitter, um, a little shine of a different kind. So here I'm just laying on the glue in a different pattern. You can choose to do it in any way you like. And afterwards, we are going to grab our glitter and just lightly sprinkle it on top. Make sure to get all parts of the snowflake so that we get an equally glitter snowflake from all perspectives. This is where the newspaper below the snowflake really comes in handy because it catches all of these extra sparkles. Now a key step here is to wait a little bit for the sparkles to dry on top of the glue. Maybe wait 10 seconds, 30 seconds, then afterwards we can just gently pick up the snowflake and shake off the 
extra glitter. And there you have it. Now you have a whole different type of snowflake, a glittery snowflake. All right, so I ended up making three snowflakes, one of which was dedicated to the Chicago Bears for their colors. And now let's look at how we can turn our snowflakes into something we might want to hang, like an ornament on a tree, or if we just want to hang it on our walls. This is a great way to uh, make sure your snowflake has its place in the home. So first up again is to glue the back side of the snowflake. It's probably best to glue the um, bottommost popsicle stick and then put the rope on top. That way you know that it will be very secure. And then make sure to hold it in place until the glue hardens. Might be for a minute or so. And voila, this is the final product. The snowflake hangs from my Christmas tree and the sequins capture all the light that shines. I can't wait to see all the snowflakes that you guys come up with. Because remember, every snowflake is one of a kind. Thanks for watching.